So don't succumb. Don't give in to the invitations that are given with a sneer of arrogance, that have no respect for citizens. I get concerned when a leader of a country only thinks of Kupanga, Hawanitawapang. We are not objects. We are subjects with dignity. Hatutaki kupangwa. And if that is the mentality, try it in Uganda. Try it in Ethiopia. There are things that you cannot do in this republic without being held to account. Thank you very much. Uh, comrade, if you don't mind, you could shake the hand. Thank you. Very well. As I invite Wanja, John Mukoya, please be on standby. And I will, with all humility, Karibu Wanja, I will, with all humility, request that uh, we try and be brief. Karibu Sana Wanja. Good afternoon, everyone. Good, good, good afternoon once again. Uh, Baba, my party leader, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta. Uh, all protocols observed. Fellow mourners, my name is Wanja. Wanja Mina is my name. I am in charge of uh, people with disabilities at Jubilee Party, and I wish to talk about three things. Now, as we were watching the video that we were watching there, I believe we saw a lady called Beatrice, the one that was speaking in Kiswahili. When I saw the things that happened in Nyalenda, the informal settlements of Nyalenda, I was particularly curious to know what really happened. So the background story is that the lady was in her home. She lives in the informal settlements of Nyalenda. She's disabled and she lives with her grandchild. So they had a lot of knocking on the door, but now the problem is that they didn't know whether to open or not because they didn't know if it was the bad people or criminals or anything. So that's how they kicked the wooden door. They beat her and they beat her, gran her grandchildren. Around the same time when we had the peaceful demonstrations, in the informal settlements of Mathare, there were a lot of tear gassing. So in one of those neighborhood, neighborhoods in a place called Mabatini, therein lives a community of disabled people. When there was a tear gassing happening, some of their caregivers ran away. What happened thereafter is that two of them died because of the smoke of the tear gas. Um, those are just but a few stories of the disappropriate how the violence and the police brutality has has particularly affected people with disabilities. Uh, people with disabilities are also the people we have seen in the hospitals there because if this kind of violence is happening, no doubt that there are people who will sustain permanent injuries. So what is this all about truly? Uh, what this is all about is that the police has and the government has become very sensitive to dissent. They don't want a person who does not speak their language. And who knows, maybe even as we document the 50 people who have passed on, there could be others who are not able to, to be documented.